Next Tuesday, Gabe Gore will be sworn in as the new St. Louis Circuit Attorney after being appointed by Governor Mike Parson. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley asked the governor about his choice and the transition process. It's a story you'll see only here on Fox 2. Governor Mike Parson's legal counsel has been serving as interim circuit attorney since Kim Gardner abruptly resigned last week, discovering 4,800 warrant applications that have not been reviewed. Parson 4,800 warrant applications that haven't been reviewed. She should be in jail. Shout out to Gil B, man, Op Nation All Pro. Listen, man, how the fuck do you have 4,800? That's almost 5,000 warrants. 5,000, let me let me translate that. 5,000 warrants equals 5,000 big lip, ape eared, nappy headed Negro fucking terrorists that need to be fucking picked up off the streets and thrown in a fucking cage. She had 5,000 unsigned warrants. Shit. What the fuck was she doing? Oh, yeah, studying to be a nurse. Governor Mike Parson's legal counsel has been serving as interim circuit attorney since Kim Gardner abruptly resigned last week, discovering 4,800 warrant applications that have not been reviewed. Parson told me he tried to reach out to Gardner when she announced her resignation, but he did not hear back. I don't know that I was expecting her to. It would have been nice to, to have a conversation and just says, hey, how do we move forward to help the people of St. Louis? But that didn't occur. With a backlog of thousands of cases. She quit. The black female prosecutor quit and just went ghost. Like she worked at McDonald's. She quit like a motherfucking hood rat quit from McDonald's. Man, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. How are you the prosecutor of one of our major cities? You quit abruptly, which thank God you did. You saved hundreds of lives by quitting. But the mayor tries to call you to like touch base with you and you just ignore them. Yo, these sisters be out of line. Not hear back. I don't know that I was expecting her to. It would have been nice to, to have a conversation and just says, hey, how do we move forward to help the people of St. Louis? But that didn't occur. With a backlog of thousands of cases, the new circuit attorney, Gabe Gore, will have his hands full. I'll be honest, if I hadn't sat at home, wonder why is he doing this? Gore lives and works and raises his family in St. Louis. Reasons why Parson says he appointed the former federal. Yeah, why is he doing this? They're going to call him a coon. Listen, brother. You've been appointed by a Republican governor. And this is this is a message not to fucking, not to just conservative blacks. But this is a message to also gliders too, man. You fucking hard-headed gliders, man. You gliders are hard-headed, man. I grew up thinking fucking sun men were smarter than gliders. Then I got um, red-pilled and I realized about IQ. And then I said, okay, goddamn, gliders are smarter than the sun men. And then I started going live and shit, and I realized you fucking glad as a fucking morons, man. So I'm all confused, man. But um, listen, this guy's got to know that he's going to be racist regardless. If he just goes in there, if he goes in there with a, a fucking baseball cap turned to the back, some gold teeth and some fucking shades, and raps the fucking sentences out, raps and shit. Yo, your honor, let the sun man go. No charges for the sun man. You heard me, yo. Listen, if he does that because he was appointed by a Republican, they'll still call him a coon. There's nothing this guy can do to not be a coon. He was appointed by a Republican governor. So I hope this son man knows that he that gives him a license to be tough as he as he can be on crime because there's nothing he can do to not be a coon.
So there should be a level of freedom. It's like with gliders. I just don't understand why gliders don't feel free. Like Republican gliders. Why y'all don't just feel free? You're a Republican. There's nothing you can do to not be a racist. You're, all, you're going to be a racist to the day you die. So use that freedom to just go all out, man. You don't have the same constraints as a liberal or a fucking lefty, as we would call them, where they got to fucking follow the woke train wherever it goes. You're a racist, man. <laughs> you're a coon. That didn't occur. With a backlog of thousands of cases, the new circuit attorney, Gabe Gore, will have his hands full. I'll be honest, if I hadn't sat at home, wonder why is he doing this? Gore lives and works and raised his family in St. Louis. Reasons why Parsons says he appointed the former federal prosecutor and current partner at the law firm Dowd Bennett last Friday. I mean, here, here's a guy that's tremendously successful, you know, doesn't have to do this by no means. That had some merit to me, and I think the reason he did it because he cared about St. Louis. After 18 candidates applied for the job, Parson narrowed it down to three finalists, saying it was a tough decision. To myself, I kept thinking in the back of my mind, too, who was capable of doing that? And you're going to have to go in there from day one, more on a management scale, just getting things in order. Plus, you still got to prosecute cases. The governor says Gore was not a political pick. Instead, he's someone that could pick up the pieces of the office. I can tell you. Oh, yeah, I like this son, man. He don't even swing his arms when he walks. I like this son, man. This son, man. This is this a this a old uptight. God damn. <laughs> this is an old uptight um anal fucking son, man, man. This motherfucker, he this motherfucker don't this motherfucker don't he only thing he got that son is black, man. His skin, man. He is son, man, and skin only, man. <laughs> was not a political pick. Instead, he don't even move his arms, man. God damn, I like this son, man, man. As Gore was not a political pick. Instead, he's someone that could pick up the pieces of the office. I can tell you there is at least a thousand cases that I know of that are class A and class B felons. Parsons saying he would support Gore if he decided to run for the office in next year's election. I would be the first to support him if he decides to go that. But, you know, that wasn't part of the decision process. I mean, that conversation took place. and But that's going to be up to Gabe and his wife and his family to decide what he's going to do there. But first, the main priority part. Hold on, what's his name again? Gabe? Gabe Gore, man. I'm, uh, hit one of you think Gabe Gore married to a glider, man, or a sister, man. I'd be shocked if Gabe. I'd be shocked if Gabe was married to a, a sister, man. Come on, Gabe, man. Come on, Gabe. Come on, old Gabe. Gay married to a sister. They gay married to a sister, man. I don't know, man. I'd be shocked if gay married to a sister, man. Gay don't move his arms when he walk, man. I can't find it, man. I'm. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe got them, when they walk like that, man, they ain't married to no sister, man. We don't need one. We don't need a prosecutor. We need a, we need a prosecutor married to a white woman, man. He When he come home, all he gonna hear is, all he gonna hear is good advice and shit instead of fucking goddamn BLM propaganda and shit. 
he decided to run for the office in next year's election. I would be the first to support him if he decides to go that. But, you know, that wasn't part of the decision process. I mean, that conversation. That sister behind him is not his wife. That's the fucking mayor. <laughs> That's the mayor. Tashara Jones. That's the fucking mayor right there. That's not his wife, man. Shout out to Eric S, man. Coming through once again. Do there. But first, the main priority Parson says is giving justice to victims and not letting cases get dismissed. St. Louis is too good a city. It is a great city. It is the major hub of our state. We got to do something besides talk about violent crime uh, in St. Louis. And this is the first step of trying to reel that in. And I think he will. Once Gore is sworn in Tuesday, Parsons legal counsel, Evan Rodriguez, will step down. In a resignation letter to the governor, Gardner said that our most powerful weapon to fight back against the outsiders is to step back. Serving the people of the city of St. Louis is still her North Star. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau. I'm